<laughs> we are definitely um, a modern family. We are we're doing really well. Thank you. So you mm -hmm. will have a baby it's clear. forever. Yes, and forever and ever. But why are Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck rekindling romances with their ex loves? Why are they doing it? Well, is that what they have decided on before quitting off their marriage in 2018? Well, only Ben and Gardner can answer these complicated questions, but that doesn't mean that we won't make our own theories or reports. We do have our research ready and looking at that, it is crystal clear that Jen and Ben haven't decided on anything as such. It's just that everything has fallen in place for them, and they decide to be in a better place since they parted ways in the past. On Tuesday, the 49-year-old actress and 43-year-old John Miller were found and clicked in New York City. Garner looked really pretty in her sweaters, jeans, and a face mask while Miller wore dark pants and a flannel shirt rolled to the elbow. Of course, some women appreciate rolled up sleeves and Garner seems to be one of them. To be precise, after parting ways with Ben Affleck, Jennifer Garner casually dated her ex John Miller and in the same year, an insider revealed that Jennifer Garner is just liking John Miller's company. It's not serious, but she likes his company, they said. Besides, just a year later, Jennifer Garner and John Miller, the American actor, were spotted together yet again. However, since they never publicly confirmed their relationship or breakup and haven't talked about it yet. Whereas looking at the current scenario of Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck, they are in a better place now and Ben is extremely happy to be with Jennifer Lopez after 18 long years. However, Garner and Ben announced that they plan to separate in June 2015 after 10 years of marriage, but their divorce was completed in November 2018. The time gap they took to finalize their divorce feels like they really wanted to cope with and give their marriage a shot. Unfortunately, nothing went as planned in the two parted ways. The ex couple share three children 15 year old daughter Violet, 12 year old Serafina, and 9 year old son Sam. Well, well, a year before Ben and Garner's divorce announcement, Miller, who happens to be Garner's ex boyfriend and also divorces ex wife, violinist Caroline Campbell, after announcing their divorce in 2014, the two share two children. And speaking of Garner and Miller, the two sparked dating rumors after confirmation of Lopez and Ben's relationship and were also clicked then. After breaking up with 45-year-old Alex Rodriguez and 33-year-old Ana de Armas, Lopez and Affleck began their new relationship in late April. As said, Garner and Ben are in a better place as of now after stories told people that their relationship is different this time around. Time has passed and they are each in a different place with children. Affleck said in an interview with People Magazine last year, that he is an ex-partner have always emphasized the need to unite for their children. When you have children with somebody, you're connected to them forever, Ben stated. And I'm very lucky she is the mother of my children. Adding on, he confessed, I'm very grateful and respectful of her, he added of Garner. Our marriage shouldn't work and that's difficult. Both of us really believe that it's important for kids to see their parents respect one another and get along, whether they're together or not. Hey, but why did Miller and his ex-wife get separated? Do we already know any details about them? Never mind, let me break it down for you. According to the Blast report, Miller and his ex-wife Caroline Campbell had a custody dispute during their divorce. In 2016, Campbell filed a statement trying to establish a formal guardianship timetable for their two children. Hence, their guardianship would remain 50-50. John's words and actions led me to believe that his insistence on having her children half the time was primarily to avoid having to pay child support and not because he intended to take care of our children himself, something he rarely did, stated Campbell. Therefore, witnessing Miller's avoidance and behavior, Campbell agreed to the care agreement to avoid his anger and minimize the impact of the pending divorce on the children. However, because the unilateral rules imposed by John seriously interfered with and undermined my ability to take care of the children, she alleged that the order eventually broke down. Professional violinist Campbell called John's control over her largely due to the major differences in their personalities. She continued, To avoid John's anger, for years I usually went along with what he wanted when we disagreed and I cannot stand up to him. He's a superb and aggressive negotiator and I am not. When we disagree about specific issues, he considers his opinions as controlling decisions, seldom considering compromises I propose. Campbell didn't stop there. She stated, I believe he feels satisfaction from controlling me and making me pay the price for ending the marriage. To avoid scenes and minimize the stress on the children and protect their happy home environment, I usually opt up to go along rather than risk John's anger. Miller, the CEO of a burger chain called Cali Burger, submitted a statement of his own in September 2017. Among them, he set an example. He did not see his children for eight days and argued, I don't believe it is in the best interest of the children to leave me for so long. He thinks his schedule is flexible because he can work from home. The two parties finally reached an agreement in December 2017. However, now discussing Miller and Garner, the two have been dating for the last six months. 
Moreover, talking of Jennifer Garner's past relationships and flings, she had spent a love life full of lasting relationships in Hollywood. From Ben Affleck to Scott Foley and more, the actress has a great love life history. Though Garner has dated many personalities, she has always struggled with finding love in the limelight. Speaking of the same, Garner stated, If it's true and you are starting to be serious with someone and they start saying, well, when are they going to be engaged? It's almost like you just want to get there so that you can come be complete and just maybe it'll die down for a second. She stated during an October 2020 episode of the Tell Me More with Kelly Corrigan show. Adding on, she continued, and then it's immediately trouble in paradise, and it becomes almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, coming to the actual point, who was Garner's first Hollywood boyfriend? To answer the question, it was Scott Foley, who she met when she came to star in Felicity in 1998. The two got married in 2000 and separated in March 2003. Later, she got her name attached to Ben Affleck in June 2005. The two opened their relationship in October 2004, less than a year after Ben Affleck canceled his engagement with Jennifer Lopez. After welcoming three children, Violet, Serafina, and Samuel, the couple announced their breakup the day after their 10th wedding anniversary in June 2015. Although Garner called the actor the love of my life in a Vanity Fair interview in February 2016, they unfortunately got divorced in 2018. Scott Foley Scott and Garner met at their movie set. The two tied the knot in October 2000. However, they separated in March 2003 and finalized their divorce of March the following year. Oh, he's a great guy, she told Allure, of her first ex-husband in August 2013. We were full-on grown-ups, but looking back, I'm aware we did not know that what hit us. We didn't have a shot. He's a really good guy and we just imploded. Michael Varden the chemical reaction from on-screen to off-screen Garner and Varton played lovers, Sidney Bristow and Michael Vaughn, on alias from 2001 and 2006, respectively. The representative of the Mint actress confirmed to U.S. Weekly in August 2003 that the connection between the two has become romantic in real life. Although they broke up in 2004, the son-in-law admitted to USA Today in May 2005, Jennifer and I were best friends first, during and after romance. However, there is obviously no bothersome feeling between the two. Gardner even occasionally checks on Barton, and it was obvious after she wished him on his birthday writing on Instagram. She wrote via Instagram, can you believe this baby face is 50? Ben Affleck I didn't marry the big fat movie star, I married him. And I would go back and remake that decision. I ran down the beach to him and I would again. You can't have these three babies and so much of what we had. She said to Vanity Fair in February 2016 concerning her relationship with Ben Affleck. Adding on, Garner continued, he's the love of my life. What am I going to do about that? He's the most brilliant person in any room, the most charismatic, the most generous. He's just a complicated guy. I always say when his sun shines on you, you feel it. But when the sun is shining elsewhere, it's cold. He can cast quite a shadow. After the divorce, as stated earlier, the two are still very close, and she has helped Ben overcome his alcohol habit. To be precise, the two still hold much respect for each other and will always in the future. That was all about it. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to the channel Peeper. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section.